And here we are at the KOA down at the pond. See there's an igloo out there. And it's actually, I don't know, you can't see it right now, but there's some eggs on there. There's Austin, he's out there on that thing, casting his pole out. Fishing, tag sticking out of his hat. <laughs> I heard something jump up over there. Something jumped over here. I don't know if you can see them eggs or not. Oh, there they are. If I can get any closer, you see two little white e eggs there? I think they're from ducks. And something just jumped over here. I don't know what. There's a little duck house, I guess, in Austin. And just right over here to the pond here is, like I showed you last video, some campers that are camping here at the lower end. I'll try to show you a little bit more as we go up, walk up through there. I showed you a little bit more in some other KOA videos. We're in the KOA in Withful. Uh, camping out. Wish Mommy could be here. She had to work this weekend, but hopefully we can go with her before summer's over. Oh, where the little ducks went? Did they go down that ravine? Some ducks around here somewhere. Blood now we're being invaded. Alright, will y'all twerk for me? Ah, uh, cute nose. Hey, little guy, twerk. Twerk! Oh, no, don't get in a tackle box and eat stuff. Oh, man, he ain't get in a tackle box. Oh, no, he is. Oh, no, you can't get in a tackle box and eat, man. You get a hook in your mouth. Silly thing. He was heading for a tackle box, wasn't he? Y'all thought that was food, didn't you? I'm sorry. I can't. Oh, he's twerking. Twerk it, girl. Oh, the other one's twerking now. Yeah. Yeah, twerk it. I'm sorry, ducks. I fooled y'all. That was food. I wasn't trying to fool you. I just had a tackle box open for Austin. Now, look, they didn't circle me like they're going to do something. They're planning in the Yeah, I better keep the tackle box down there closed. Here's a view from the back of a truck. Going up through the KOA with Fort Virginia. Have a goodbye pool for this time. So long. There was so many people in there. And... 30% of them was peeing in the pool. That water was yellow, wasn't it? <laughs> it looked like lemonade that time. <laughs> and we walked this road several times today. So, well, since we've been here, we walked this road. Today was the longest because we walked all the way from the pond all the way back up. And we're going to record somebody now. This is for insurance purposes. We're recording a stalker. We're being traced by the FBI. Hey, go. See, they got go. campers over there. Go. Camper site got a dog barking. We got a little place over here go. to walk your dog. Go. We got goats, and we had a deer going crazy earlier. Oh, our FBI agent quit following us. Coming through, got more sights up here. The life of a camper. Oh, I'm sorry, Austin. Didn't mean to get you on the uh, camera there. I'm sorry. Hope your eyes wasn't too bloodshot. I may have to edit that out. Well, I missed the goat. He's just sitting there. It looks like a small cow. Yeah, we've walked this road quite a bit. Still ain't got the world work camp that. We need to get us a moped next time we're this far away from the pool. At least we hitched a ride. Nothing like hitching a ride is there, boys. Jordan's sitting up front. I'm sitting back here with Austin and Adam. Just taking a nice summer breeze. I like recording that skunk. Well, yeah, we got invaded by a skunk last night. 
and he would not leave. Yeah. He just kept coming. Back. Yeah, he just kept coming back. He's pretty. There's some woods over here. We get close to our campground. Might be going to dad's. He may be dropping us. Well, we're just about here. Well, we're passing our campground. Over there's where we camp. There's our tent. There's our coolers. And here we are. Stop in there. Well, here we are, Saturday night. Around the campfire. We're leaving tomorrow morning from the Whiffle KOA. We've had fun meeting the boys and wish Mommy could have come. And that fire's getting a little bit out of control, ain't it? But I hope that picnic table don't go whoop. Or none of these pine needles. On pine needles, they go up fast. But anyway, I'll upload this video uh, when we get home on Sunday. Which, when you see this, it probably will be Sunday. Uh, if there's no place like home, uh, we might have to keep eye on this fire. But uh, yeah, there's me and the boys sitting around the fire. We just left from Dad's over there, and we're sitting around the fire over there having s'mores. Everybody know what that is. Talk to y'all later. Well, anyway, it's still quiet time here at the KOA. This is Sunday, July 23rd, and I think it's a little before 7 o'clock. Here at the KOA, it's supposed to be quiet from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. <clears throat> Me and the boys have been camping uh, Friday night and Saturday night. We've been camping at the KOA in Withful. And these... I don't know about all the KOAs. I don't know about what your experiences are KOA, but man, we've really had a good time. The people here have been nice. Man, they, I mean, the people that work here, I mean, they stay on the ball. They're always on the go. They're always present. I mean, you, you know they're here. Their presence is known. I mean, they ride up through here on their John Deere little four-wheeler things and, and come, but we've had a really good time. We've, <clears throat> my dad and his crew is staying in the camper right over there and I actually see my dad's truck when I stand up and when I'm at his campsite I can see my vehicle of course the boys are still sleeping in the tent back here it rained a little bit last night but the weather has been great it hasn't it hasn't you know rained any and the ground's dry now and everything's pretty much dry I mean even sitting in a chair we left outside last night and uh the weather's been nice. Man, we've been in the pool. And, uh, man, the pool's been crowded. I mean, it's been hot. It's been crowded every day at the pool. Uh, we've probably been in the pool six or seven times. Austin and them, they went fishing twice yesterday. And, you know, they've had karaoke down here. Of course, we didn't listen to it much. And they had a, a band last night. We heard some of it because we were at the pond feeding the ducks my son wanted to feed them and uh my little guys are act like he's hungry but it's always glad to get home <coughs> miss my wife miss my dog can't wait to see them um so me and the boys have had a really good time and it's been fun. And hey, man, this this campground, they've made a lot of improvements. They've added on. I mean, this campground is crowded. Uh, I don't know about the, anybody's pulled out here this morning, but there weren't many spots left. Probably through the whole campground, there might be 20 empty spots, maybe. And But, but, I, but as many spots as they got, I mean, goodness, it seemed like they got like 200 spots. I mean, it, it's pretty packed. Uh, 
If you ever get a chance, check it out. It's in Whistle. It's right off the four lane. It's convenient. Um, it's not too far from a lot of places. Not too far from North Carolina. Not too far from where we live in West Virginia. It's a nice little campground. Uh, they say there's a little campground up there near where we live. We'll have to check it out. But anyway, we, we've camped out here several times. But I, I got good things to say about the KOA organization, at least for here in West Virginia. It's the only KOA I've ever stayed at. But they got them all over the United States. I mean, and uh, this one here, I know they do a good job. And they, they've had a couple of different owners, I think. Uh, this is the second one that we know of um, since we started camping here. And they've all done a, do, a good job. The new people have done a really good job. They've added on. So if you haven't been at this KOA in a few years, definitely come check it out. You'll be surprised they've added some stuff down there. Even their arcade, man, they added six lanes of bowling <laughs> at a campground. Um, but it's not a little bad little place to stay. But anyway, get home. I got a couple, maybe, I think maybe two video clips I'm going to play. I didn't record a whole lot while I was here. I just wanted to really just relax, enjoy myself, not really be on the phone much. You know, me and my wife didn't even talk a whole lot, just a little bit at night. And uh, my son, you know, didn't even talk to his girlfriend a whole lot. That's, uh, that's unusual. But, uh because I think he really just wanted to just relax, take a step back, and enjoy nature. And by the way, speaking of nature, I didn't see him this morning. Of course, I'm getting up a little lighter. But the other morning, yesterday morning, we got up before dark, and there was a skunk here. And he was relentless. He would not leave us alone. We were standing here trying to scare him a little bit. He went around the tent. And we'll circle around the backside like he was going to do something. And we did see him again last night. Oh my goodness. I'm glad my son two times heard him. Because I can't hardly hear. He was right. I mean. Probably 20 foot away from me. Right here behind some rocks. I don't know if he was trying to come up on me and squirt me or what. But my son has seen him. We both jumped up out of our chair. And he went in behind some rocks. And I I haven't seen him after that. But anyway, we'll get home, upload these videos. Hope we have a safe trip home. Thank everybody. Man, it's been an awesome time, man. Hope to get home, upload some videos. I feel a little bit recharged. Haven't made a video in a few days. Just been relaxing a little bit. And, uh, man, just having some fun, man. Enjoying life, man. Everybody have a blessed Sunday. Man, as always, man, if you got God in your life, keep him there. And if you ain't got him, get him, son.